This is level two. This is what it sounds like at level two. Level two. Level three. This is what it sounds like at level three. Just out of arm's reach. Level three. Level four. This is what it sounds like at level four. Listening for the amount of background noise and white noise and hiss. Level five. Testing level five. Again, just a little bit out of arm's reach. Level six. This is what it sounds like at level six. Level six. Level seven, this is what it sounds like at level seven, level seven. Level eight, this is what it sounds like at level eight, level eight. Level nine, this is what it sounds like at level nine, level nine. Level ten, this is what it sounds like at level ten, level ten. Self noise level three. Self noise level four. Self noise level five. Self noise level six. Self noise level seven. Self noise level eight. Self noise level nine. Self noise level 10. Okay, this is the voice recorder at level 5. So, uh, you can hear the clock in the background. Maybe that's useful. So the question is either by sampling some of the noise, background noise during the blank bit here, uh, normally what we would do is we would record some a moment or two of room noise. It's just useful for uh, plugging gaps, like if you do ADR, for example. Two approaches. One is to use a noise gate audio uh, editing component of your uh, editor. The second is to use some sort of noise removal or noise reduction uh, function whereby you sample a bit of just the background and you apply that to the whole audio track and it should largely neutralize the annoying background noise. So there you go.